Welcome back to Walnut Springs. My name is Mike. Today, I wanna to show you three easy ways to check your chain. Let's get to it. Okay, the first method that we're going to use is a ruler. Now, this is on my road bike that is in really need of some maintenance. So, this chain is probably going to be needing to be replaced. I can almost guarantee you it does. And what we need to do whenever we look at a ruler is you just need a 12 inch ruler and whenever you start at the zero inch mark, you'll put it up against one of the pins. And this can be done either at the bottom or the top of the chain, but usually the bottom's a little bit easier because you have more room to deal with it. So on your ruler, you're gonna wanna take the first marking and line it up with the center of one of your pins. And then you can just simply place the ruler along the chain and see where the 12 or the last marking on a one foot ruler lines up with the other pin. As you can see here, this is way off. It actually ends at the beginning of the pin and it should be more like this dead center in the pin. That's basically what a lot of people refer to as chain stretch. And that's an indicator that it needs to be replaced. Now let's put this on a chain that is brand new and you can see how the 12 and the zero marks line up perfectly with the pins on the chain. Okay, so here we are on a brand new chain. This is on that Univega that I restored. This chain only has about 20 miles on it, so there should be zero stretch to it. Let's go ahead and let's line this up with the pins. Remember the zero needs to be dead center on one of the pins, and then that 12 should also line up dead center with it. So yeah, we've got a perfectly good chain with zero chain stretch on this as suspected being that this is a brand new chain. This method is surprisingly easy and most people have these lying around their house. Okay, now let's take a look at a, another inexpensive option, a little bit more than a ruler. This runs about $7. This is the YC503 bike hand chain checking tool. And as you can see, it's got some little uh, areas right here that will actually go into the inside part of the chain to hold the tool on. And then it's got some markings that are 0.75 and 1.0. And what this means is if you get to a indication of 0.75, that means it's time to start considering replacing your chain. If it's at 1.0 or greater, it is definitely time to replace the chain. How you use this is just start with the 0.75 side is you just insert this into the chain in one of the one of the links there and then you push it up against the side there. If this drops down into the uh, center part of the chain real easily, that means that it is past due on that part. And as you can see, this one is definitely over 0.75. So to check to see if it definitely needs to be replaced, we check the 1.0 side. We just flip it over and do the same thing. And this fell in there real easy. So again, this chain is ready to be replaced. Now let's take this one and put it on the brand new chain and show you how it should look on a newer chain or a chain that is not needed to be replaced. All right, now let's check the brand new chain with the bike hand tool. We'll just insert this into the chain here. And this is on the 0.75 side. And as you can see, that is not going to go into the chain without some force. So we know that this chain is going to be perfectly fine and doesn't even need to be thought about being replaced. Now we're ready to check this with a higher grade chain checking tool. Uh, really, it doesn't give you much more advantage to go with this Park Tools version other than you do get a bigger range of accuracy with it as far as you go from zero again to 1.0, but you have several markings in between. I don't really see the need to have the 0.25 or the 0.5 because you know once it gets to 0.75, Park Tools is saying you need to replace it. And if it's over 1.0, it's definitely time to replace it. So how this works is basically whenever it is in the zero mark, this pin is basically going to be able to be pushed into the chain a little bit easier. And the more that you go up, the further that pin gets out. So with this chain checking tool, you basically start with zero, place it into the chain, check it, make sure that it's fine. And then you can slowly start moving it up but let's go ahead and let's move it up to 0.75 and check this chain with this tool. 
And yes, it slides in real easy. So according to Park Tools, that's when they recommend replacing your chain. But let's go ahead and put it up to the 1.0, which is no matter which chain checking tool you go with, they say that's when you need to replace the chain. And we should be able to slide this in real easy. And it's a little bit tight, but it ultimately will click in there. You shouldn't even be able to get this to drop in. Let's go ahead and show you guys how this works on a brand new chain. I'm gonna put this on zero just for fun, just to see if this will slide into the chain at all. Again, you just put this pin on the inside up against one of the links, and then you slide it down in here. And as you can see, this chain has zero stretch on it because even at the zero mark, it is not wanting to go down in there. Now, if I forced it down in there, it probably would go, but it's just not even close. So yeah, there's no need to check this chain anymore with this particular chain checking tool. Now, real quickly, between these three methods, I really actually like this bike hand tool. It may not be as accurate as the park tools. You're just trying to check for some simple stretch in your chain. And I really like how there's only two sides you can either check the 0.75 or the 1.0. It's so fast to be able to see if your chain needs to be replaced. You don't have to look at any lines or line it up with anything. I really do feel like this is a tool that's worth buying. Being that it's $7, it's not something that's gonna break the bank and it gets the job done really well. And if you have one, two or three or more bikes, this is a tool that can solve some problems or maybe answer some questions as to why you're having bad shifting really fast. Simply just drop it in and there you go. The chain is checked. You know exactly where you're at, whether you need to replace it or think about replacing it or whether it's still good. There you go. That's how simple it is to check your chain to see if it's time to change it. If you guys like this video and you found it helpful, go ahead and click that like button. Leave me a comment below and let me know how often do you check your chains and do you use a chain checker to do it or a simple ruler? And if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. It really helps out my channel and I greatly appreciate it. As always, I will put links to any of the tools that I have used in this video in case you want to purchase them so you can do your own maintenance on your bikes. But as always, get out there, run, bike, build, and just have fun. We'll see you in the next one.